because I'm like uh, I'm like everybody else. I'm a I'm a basketball fan. I grew up here in uh, in the nation's capital. Um, I went to school in uh, Darcy McGee High School in Hall. Actually, I played basketball there. Um, uh, we did we did pretty well. I, think, I remember we went to Sherbrooke for the provincials. It was it was a, it was a great time. And then after that, I uh, I graduated and I started working. Um, I started my career in the business side. I was working for a consulting company. Uh, my job was to actually go into organization and do some change initiatives. So we do like HR transformations, we do orientations and stuff like that. And then I was fortunate to be sent all over the world. So my first uh, my first uh, uh, my first assignment was uh, in Abu Dhabi, the United Arab Emirates. Um, I spent some time there, and then from there I started working with uh, a large software company called SAP, and I was based in a very small country uh, called Liechtenstein, um, and I was responsible for uh, 21 countries. It was called South Europe and the Middle East, so Greece, Turkey, North Africa, the Levant area. And then from there I worked with a company called Hilti, which is a power tools company, and my job was to go to develop new markets as we go along. Um, five years ago, I was in Germany and I resigned from my job and I said to the to my boss at the time, um, I said, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be in the corporate world. I want to do something more meaningful for me. And I wanted to write a book. Of course, they all laughed at me. And I said, uh, yeah, I want to write a book. I want to you know, speak all over the world and everything. And it was a tough journey because... Uh, you know, I, I didn't have the background of writing. It's not like these days where you can go online and, uh, you know, publish a book immediately. You had to go to publishers. You had to sell your concept. To make a long story short, um, uh, I wrote my first book. It was called The Five Seas of Change. And it was really about stepping up in life and making things happen. And I was so fortunate. I started speaking all over the world in every single continent. Uh, my book has been translated to three languages. And then I wrote my second book called The Road. Uh, which is the journey of the five C's of change. And one of the things I write about in the book is something I call PHP, purpose, hunger, and passion. Purpose gives you direction, hunger gives you achievement, and passion gives you inspiration. And I thought to myself, uh, it was almost three years ago now, uh, I wanted to come back to Canada because I'm a single father and I wanted to be, because I traveled a lot, I wanted to have my son close to my parents and my family as I traveled, as he grows up. So I came, I, I came back here, I still have my office in Dubai, which operates my speaking business. And I thought to myself, you know, what is something I love and something I'm good at? If I can combine them both together, that's a great formula for success. And I write about that in my book, you know, if you do something with passion, with purpose and with hunger, it will be good. So it was a no-brainer for, my, for me and my family, it was basketball. We are crazy basketball fans. I remember we used to fly, you know, from Dubai to Los Angeles, a 14-hour flight to watch a Laker game and come back. So we we're crazy basketball fans. Um, I stumbled across the National Basketball League when it first started, and uh, I was one of the, uh, the the groups in Ottawa to actually apply for ownership for a franchise here in the city. We had some complications initially because uh, the Civic Center venue wasn't working very well. Uh, they were doing renovations, so they weren't picking up any new tenants, they own, and we couldn't play out of universities. So the only other venue was the Scotiabank place at the time. Um, when I, came, I was gone for 10 years from Canada, so when I came back, I didn't know much people. But uh, the first thing I talk about in my book is if you want to do something great, you got to emulate the people who've done it before. you got to take the credibility of the people who have been successful in that specific area. So I thought to myself, who are the top successful people in Ottawa in sports? And it was, of course, the Ottawa Senators. It was Jeff Hunt from the 67th and the CFL. So they all became my friends. I called them up and I said, my name is Gus, blah, blah, blah. And I went and I sat with them. I met a gentleman called Bruce Firestone. Bruce is actually did what I did 20 years ago, which is bringing in a franchise. And he brought in the Senators. And Bruce uh, liked the concept, liked what we're doing with basketball. And then he took me to Sarah Leader, who was the current president of the Ottawa Senators and the Scotiabank place at the time, and we made a deal to play there, at least for year one. We came back to the, uh, to the league, and of course, you know, it was, it was yes and no, yes and no with the league, because, you know, I, I'm young, I'm the youngest owner, uh, but I'm the most passionate, I think. Uh, long story short, we were awarded the franchise a year and a half ago, and here we are today. And I think it's, you know, a lot of people say to me, Gus, you know, what you're doing is, you know, it's something historical. It's great. Have you done your homework? Have you, have you made sure that this is the right market for it? Of course I have. You know, Ottawa is, Ottawa is a legacy in terms of basketball. Pick a city anywhere in the world that a college or a university team has won nine out of 11 championships. You're not going to find a city like that. You know, you drive around here in Ottawa. You know, look at the drivers. There's basketball nets everywhere. 
And add to that, we've done our research. There's 1.3 million people in Ottawa, in the Ottawa area, okay? There are, Ottawa is the highest income per family city in the entire country with $94,000 per, per income per family. So the disposable income is high. And then the only choice the consumer has today to watch professional sports is hockey. Now, with the addition of basketball, with the addition of football, with the addition of potentially baseball, with the addition of professional soccer, Ottawa is going to be, as I understand it, the second largest sports city in Canada after Toronto. And we're so glad to be a part of that. So for myself, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm like everybody else, I'm passionate about the city, I'm passionate about basketball, at the end of the day what I want to do is I want to create something special here, and not only for entertainment, but also to create hope for the youngsters that want to play professionally, that don't have to go to the States anymore or to Europe to play professionally after college, they can stay right here, play in their hometown, and do something special amongst their friends, amongst their families, and amongst their peers.